It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back for another Dev Diary for the upcoming expansion for Hearts of Iron 4, which is called Man the Guns, which is about manning the guns on the boat. And this one's all about boats. Oh, wow, the connection. This is it, boys. We're going to be talking now about repairing, naming your fleets, and some adjustments and changes they have made to how damage is dealt to your ships as well as how many naval dot yards can be assigned to your fleets. If you like dev diaries and you'd like me to continue to make them, like this video and comment below any feature or Man the Guns you are particularly excited about. And don't forget, if you click on the playlist, you can see the other dev diaries for Man the Guns to get an idea of a flavor of what is coming up in the future. First of all, they are changing the amount of naval dot yards you can assign to ships that are currently in construction. As you can see here, we have convoys, which have the maximum of 15, as you currently do. We have a heavy cruiser, which is a maximum of 5. And we have the screening ships, which have a maximum of 10. Now, what was this done for? This is done to try and reduce the amount of time it takes to construct capital ships. The one thing you're probably thinking is, oh no, capital ships are already weak anyway. Why have you reduced the amount of time? It's going to make them weaker. So, with Man the Guns coming out, I have a funny suspicion that capital ships are going to become a hell of a lot more powerful so what this is going to do is make them more special. So what it means is now when they're in your fleet, they have more meaning. And I would imagine as well, when you take damage in a fleet, you desperately want to repair them because of the more of the purpose that they serve in the overall fleet. It is mentioned in this dev diary, and I've mentioned a previous dev diary, but I would really like to see if a flagship gets sunk. Like any capital ship of any kind, it has a detrimental effect on war support or stability. It's, it's, it is a massive hit to your morale, particularly for your overall everyone in your nation if you lose that big fat ship which would make sense and it would also make them more precious if you think about it i have played ah what mod is it it's black ice and in black ice is a limited amount of naval dot yards you can assign for a ship i think it's the same for every ship you make but this is uh something that i have seen in that mod and it always confused me at first it made me feel like why is that well it kind of just makes sense because one it's making the ships more precious and two it's kind of limited how many you can make and i suppose there's a three as well like assigning a massive amount of dot yards onto one ship on this massive project feels like a micromanagement nightmare so it feels more realistic that a maximum of five could be assigned for your big fat capital ship what do we have here then? So we have names, so you can name your ships. I think the way this works is you enter a name and you add the plus sign. And then the next ship that gets constructed gets added that name. I would assume so. And it gives you an idea of what that next ship will be called. More than likely, if you click on those, it probably will give you the list of what you can add and what you can change. Or maybe you've selected this and that's what this has appeared. That's what I would assume so. Can't wait for HMS William Wallace, that's for sure. We also have a repair icon here. Ah, <gasps> repair icon. So here we go. This is our new repair screen that's been selected, and this is the new box that comes with it. And this shows existing repairs that are currently going through. Oof, this has been, uh, I don't know, this has been really desperately needed because there's no way of like looking at a grand list of current repairs that are going through. So there's no idea of what is being repaired and how to keep track of it. So now you can. So you can see each of the screening ships, takes you how long it's going to be till it's fully repaired, shows if they're currently in the queue, and you can see these big fat capital ships are going to be out of action for a long time. The way it works now is you need to assign naval dot yards, naval dot yards to your repair queue to speed up the repairs. So there's a chance now if you increase this number, which is the amount of naval dot yards that have been signed to repairs, it means that it is going to be pulling naval dot yards off your current construction queue and pulling them onto repair as a higher priority. So if you have an important ship that you want to repair as soon as possible, you can increase this number here and then you can potentially pull some of your ships or pull, pull some of your construction priority onto repair priority, as you can see. If you look very close, you should also see... Oh, what are these icons? Are these theatres? Are these, like, arm naval groups, maybe? I'm not sure. Um, it is mentioned a little bit further down in this dev diary that these icons will be changed, because these are land-based icons used as just a placeholder, because from everything you see right here, isn't the final result. In the final version, more than likely, some of these graphics may change, some of these stats may change, but this is just a demonstration on how it will work in the finished product. Capital ships are important. Did I not tell you that? Yeah, they're important. So now, capital ships can be inflicted with critical hits, which potentially can be fatal but then also can have other detrimental effects effects on your ship. Here we go. So we have the Deutschland, a heavy cruiser, and it has been damaged with a critical hit. 
it has it had a broken propeller, which reduces a massive amount of 90% of its overall speed. Hmm. Can anyone comment below historical scenarios where maybe some of these damages have been inflicted on ships? And it has result in that ship becoming useless or close to that. Mm -hmm. Think about it. We've got main battery turret destroyed, reducing the main attack damage of the fleet. So your big fat batteries on your battleship. Secondary batteries, this is like your AA guns, for instance, or maybe your torpedo tubes. You have a broken propeller, as mentioned here. Uh, a rudder jammed. Ability to disengage is diminished. And a magazine hit, massive damage. Ooh, another historical reference here. What is this one, guys? Hmm, I'm thinking of it on the tip of my tongue. Torpedo tubes are destroyed, reducing the torpedo, te torpedo attack and damage. So I guess in this case, this isn't the torpedoes. I guess torpedoes aren't classed as a secondary due to the fact that they're not here. Heavy fires reduce organization or damage. That's an interesting one. Uh, ballast tanks inoperable. Ballast? Reduce stealth for subs. Ah, interesting. Oh, so this critical hits aren't just specifically for capitals. These are all ships then. Interesting. I had, a, I had the presumption that these are only affecting capital ships, but this is all ships. Radar is inoperable and they reduce detection. Uh, these are from the previous dev diary. These are the traits that our admirals can gain uh, whilst in combat and whilst out of combat. It shows well what they do. These ones I presumed were to do with capital ships. The dev dare has revealed that safety first lowers the chance of ships inside of that fleet, uh, commanded by the Admiral, will have a reduced chance of receiving critical hits. So that means they will still receive damage, but it's less likely to be a crit when the damage is hit on that ship, or every ship under the Admiral. Crisis Magician reduces the effects of critical hits. So if a capital ship, for instance, gets struck and it is a crit, and unfortunately, even though you've got safety first, you do get a critical hit, unfortunately. Very unlucky. And it's a broken propeller. In this case, you will suffer a less of an effect of that broken propeller. Which in that case, maybe it'll be half of that, maybe. Who knows? 45%, we could say. I don't know. That's a presumption. I don't know the final numbers. So that gives us a bit of an impression of what these could possibly be. Ironside, we already know, is an armor bonus. But that could change in the final release, so it might not be that. Big guns means, I guess... It would imagine the capital ship main batteries do more damage. And marksman feels like accuracy, which is kind of the opposite. You've got defense here and you've got attack here. And then ground pound, I guess, I presume on the last debt area, this was going to be one for ground support for battleships for doing shore bombardment. Maybe this is a possibility. This is something that's not been talked about. Maybe in future, in Man the Guns, we are going to see ability powers that navels can perform too. Navels. Navies. So, for instance, you've got uh, Engineer's ability to... Is it Engineer's? It's Commando's ability to makeshift bridges, for instance. So, for instance, using your command power to deploy certain actions based on those command powers. And maybe Ground Pounder is some ability to do inflict more damage on nearby adjacent coastal forts, maybe? There's a possibility of that. But that's all we know so far. Okay, so this Debra Diary is a bit of a shorter one. But there are a few hints and bits and pieces in this dev diary that we don't want to go over. Well, I want to go over them anyway. But the ship designer has been announced. It's been confirmed. And now ships will be made up of several parts. My understanding of this is that when you research a new ship, it will be the body of the ship that you're researching itself. In this case, we've got the, oh, I don't know, county class, for instance. So this is the body. And then on top of that, you'll place components depending on what, you, what function of that ship would be. So you would have a main battery, so you can see those on the front. You've got like a radar on the top here, and you've got rear batteries, or you've got AA guns built across the top as well. You could have torpedo tubes. You could have a bigger propeller as well. There are all the bits and pieces, and I would imagine larger the ship means more components can be added, similar to Stellaris, right? And, and I think that's the direction that we're going right now. And it would probably make sense too that maybe some of these inflicted damages would only affect those certain components of the ship or maybe we at some point maybe we'll see certain components get damaged on the ship um, and then that's potentially what you'll see repaired it doesn't give any inkling from the screenshot that's what's going to be the case but it is looking towards we're going towards that kind of system i would imagine it won't be as complex as stellaris i just i'm just taking a complete shot in the dark there but it would work kind of like hearts of iron 2 where if you bought a uh, like you're working on radar and there's like an option to add big, bigger fatter radar onto your capital ships and that can be done does that mean you can refit them as well we haven't had any announcements of that so maybe when it's already been deployed this is the final one you get and maybe you can't refit it who knows it would be disappointing if you couldn't refit but 
that possibility is definitely out there. Guys, I really hope you enjoy Deb Diaries. I make them just for you guys. And uh, if you do enjoy these kind of videos, please like and subscribe. There's a final screenshot just showing the uh, repair screen. I was going to specifically zoom in on Boaty McBoatface. Yes, the lovely Atlantic ship that was not named that. Rest in peace, Boaty McBoatface. And if you do want to do the very final thing to support me and go an extra mile and help me produce more content in the future, you become a $5 Patreon. And with that, you can, uh, well, go on my Discord and have a beautiful gold name and get access to the exclusive feedback chat where you will be worshipped and idolized to the end of time. I hope you have an absolutely epic, awesome day, guys. And I will see you guys next time. See you soon. Bye-bye.